everyone to the love of God. Welcome to Arlington Forest Sunday Worship. I'm Jane Choi, pastor at Arlington Forest. May the Holy Spirit come upon you, give you the power to live in this challenging time. Please join call to worship. As you walk with us, as we journey together, Lord, your word fills our hearts. As you speak with us, as your love is revealed, Lord, your fire burns in our hearts. As we proclaim what we have seen and heard, may all people be drawn to you, the risen Lord. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked alongside with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he would be the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all of this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things? and enter in his glory? And beginning with Moses and all of the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly, 
Stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord is risen and appeared to Simon. Then the two told them what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, bless our hearing and understanding. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Amen. Today's story in Luke's Gospel happened on the first Easter Sunday. Two disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. The name Emmaus is connected with the Emmaus battle 150 years before the New Testament time. Judas Maccabeus a Jewish priest and his troops fought against a foreign country and secured peace in Palestine. As the name of Emmaus indicates, the two disciples were walking along the road, battling with despair. They expected that Jesus would save Israel. However, he was crucified by Jewish leaders and died three days before. They heard from two women in their group that they found Jesus the empty tomb. They saw two angels who proclaimed that Jesus was risen. Despite the women's testimonies, these two disciples could not believe that Jesus was resurrected. On the road to Emmaus, they were fighting with their disappointment about the things that happened to Jesus. To the disciples who fell into despair, Jesus appeared. He walked along with them, talked to them, and listened to their frustration. By teaching the Bible, talking with them, and listening to their disappointment, Jesus helped the disciples to open their spiritual eyes and recognize him. These means of grace bond the disciples' of hearts with the Holy Spirit. He gave them the power to return to their faith community and proclaim the good news that Christ was risen. Like the disciples on the road to Emmaus, during this Easter season, we are struggling with despair due to COVID-19. Many people have died from this virus. We feel threatened even when we go to the pharmacy and grocery shopping. We also feel lonely when social distancing limits our daily activities. 
in all the nursing homes, the residents should stay only in their apartments or rooms. No family members or friends can visit them. They are sad and depressed. When I talk to some church members in the nursing homes, I hear their sorrow and despair. One of them was frustrated and sad. I pray at noon every day is the prayer Bishop Sharma Lewis provided. But my prayers have not been answered. The COVID-19 pandemic is lasting longer than we expected. Falling into despair seems easy. Like the disciples walking to Emmaus, we are struggling with the frustration. However, the risen Jesus did not leave the disciples alone who were disappointed, sad, and afraid. He was with those who were grieving at the empty tomb, those who were prayed in the upper room, and those who were battling with despair on the road to Emmaus. Jesus Christ is God, Emmanuel, who is with us always and everywhere. He is with us the most in our most difficult times. Jesus Christ did not remain in the empty tomb. He was risen. He is the living God who defeated death and was resurrected. The risen Christ is rolling the hard stone of coronavirus out of the world. New life is coming. During this COVID-19 pandemic, Christian churches cannot worship in person. Many churches have created online platforms to worship. It is surprising and good to see that more people have joined virtual worship on Sundays. Through online worship, the risen Jesus visits more people who are in despair and stay at home. The good news of Jesus Christ is now spreading to people who are too busy to listen to it. I have a story from a YouTube Christian channel which I am going to share. The title is Wait for Three Days. Quotation A Chinese female writer visited the United States. On the street of New York, she happened to meet an old lady selling flowers. She had shabby clothes and looked very fragile, as if he, she was about to fall down. While picking out the flowers, the writer looked at the old lady's face very carefully. Her face was full of happiness. She asked, the old lady, why are you so happy? The old lady responded with a big smile. Why couldn't I be happy when the world is so beautiful? The writer said to her, you seem to have such a gift to accept suffering so easily. 
The old lady held the, held the female writer's hand and said, The day when Jesus Christ died on the cross was the most painful day. However, three days later, wasn't he risen? Whenever I feel I am unhappy, I wait for three days. Afterwards, everything is better. The old lady's response astounded the writer. Hmm, wait for three days when sad things happen? What a simple and philosophical attitude for life. What positive faith. If not our present pain and suffering into the joy of the future. How about waiting for three days for future joy? While waiting, our pain and suffering will be changed into joy, won't it? End quotation. Now, let us go back to the two disciples walking to Emmaus, struggling with their despair about the death of Jesus. The risen Jesus came up to them, listened to their frustration, and talked to them. When the disciples listened to Jesus' words, talked to him, and received the communion, their hopelessness was changed into hope. Their hearts were burned with the fire of the Holy Spirit. The disciples gained the courage to go back to their faith community. Then they joyfully shared the good news of the risen Christ with the other disciples. Worshiping, praying, reading the Bible, and receiving the communion are means of grace to experience the risen Christ. During this challenging time, please spend more time with Jesus through the means of grace, praying, reading the Bible, and worshiping. Through these means of grace, let us encounter the risen Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of power. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, let us live with hope and gain the courage to serve others with kindness in this challenging time. Wait for three days with the risen Christ. New days for the joy of the resurrection is coming. Amen.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.